No two ships are exactly the same, and each one has its own optimum cargo handling solution. We're going to look at the ways in which McGregor products can help ship owners and shipyards design the best system for a particular vessel and its cargoes. Ship owners naturally want their vessels to be as productive as possible when loading and discharging cargo. High productivity is delivered by equipment performing well, both ashore and on board. We'll begin by considering cargo safety and the design of cargo securing arrangements. As you can see, the weight of this container means that it can't be loaded onto the vessel in this position. Using single, twin or tandem lifts affects a vessel's productivity. This means that the cargo mix is an important factor to take into account at the design stage. Containers that can't be loaded for any reason cause a significant loss of income. Documented examples of design differences between sister ships demonstrate that money invested in an optimized solution can be recouped in a single round trip. Why does this happen? Why are some ships not optimized for their cargoes? There's no good reason for a ship to have these problems, but it can and does happen if a less than optimum design is adopted instead of a McGregor solution. When cargo tech is involved in the vessel design process at an early stage, problems like this can be avoided. All critical features should be designed and delivered by one supplier who can take full responsibility for the system throughout a vessel's working life. Perfecting the optimized cargo solution is like solving Rubik's Cube. Each choice has many implications. A change in the cargo mix can affect the lashing system, the lashing bridge and hatch cover, and combing design in a variety of ways that the McGregor solution is ideally suited to handle. Here we see a simplified representation of the McGregor design process. Containers can be placed on top of hatch covers in a number of different ways. This is an example of a bay with 40-foot containers. As the load increases, we can see how the LashMate software helps us calculate suitable lashing methods and equipment requirements. The load from the containers is transferred to the ship's hull via the lashing equipment and the lashing bridge. As you can see from the critical feature table, these are two items that must be carefully considered during the design phase. Naturally, the bay can also be loaded with 20-foot containers, and the forces acting between the container stacks and the hatch covers need to be transferred to the ship's hull. This represents a different load condition compared with the 40-foot container loading situation, and there are other aspects to consider, including the design of the hatch covers. In the case of mixed stowage, the forces acting directly between the hatch covers and the ship's hull must be carefully considered. And this includes selection of bearing pads and other safety equipment. The ship is designed and built around its intended cargo. By providing it with the optimum cargo handling solution, CargoTech can ensure the best possible productivity for the ship throughout its lifetime. CargoTech can handle all these different situations and understands the complex relationship between components and the cargo mix. As the cargo mix inevitably varies from route to route, it's very important to have a flexible cargo system and to study the McGregor solution before making any irreversible decisions. The reason for building a ship is to move cargo, so it makes sense to design it to fulfill this purpose effectively.